Hey friends, it's Wickedy here. In this video, we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different. So I have gone over tailoring in the game in one of my earlier videos to hopefully give you guys a better idea and understanding of how to unlock it and how to customize your outfits. It's linked on the side and down below if you need a brush up or need to understand just a bit more about tailoring and dyeing. Today, I'm gonna take it even further and I'm gonna show you how to become an undercover spy. <laughs> well, sort of. I'm gonna show you how to make as many of the outfits of the villagers in the game that I can figure out how to do. What you do while you're dressed up as your favorite or most hated villagers is up to you. I guess spy might not be the word for it. Let's go with Stardew Valley cosplay. Yeah, <laughs> that's better. I will be using a few different mods to easily change my appearance and other things. Those are listed in the description if you need to know which ones they are. Now, quick note, these outfits aren't perfect replications of the villagers themselves, as I wasn't able to get everything all the way down to the details, but I did my absolute best and got pretty close with some of them. So let's get our inner ditto on and make some outfits. Starting off with Vincent. For a shirt, there were a few sort of close, but this shirt that you can actually choose with a new character worked best for me. You can also craft it with some fried eel. Pair that with some farmer pants and dye it to match. Vincent is wearing some green shoes and so you can go with either the rubber boots or leprechaun shoes which is one of the new shoes with the 1.4 update. Now just gotta do some light plastic surgery, dye my hair and... Vincent aged 10 to 12 years later. See that, Jody? Link once and your son's grown up right in front of your eyes. It's like you missed out on my entire childhood. You should have played with me more. You can really mess with Kent's head a bit too, making him wonder exactly how long he's actually been gone. Jazz uh, might not be as easy. That bow is a statement piece, but there is the lucky bow that we have, which is green, which is what we'll use for her. You can get it from the hat mouse after you earn 50,000 gold on your farm. The dress we have to do in two parts. For the top, there is a shirt that you can choose with a brand new character. Um, I couldn't figure out how to make this one. There isn't a recipe for it, so I had to use a mod to grab it. Or you can try a different shirt and dye it to match. A basic pullover made from fiber or wood looked the most similar to me. This looks like a shorter dress, so a regular skirt made from either a tulip or blue jazz for the bottom. Shoe-wise, it looks like she's wearing purple shoes, so I opted for the genie shoes, which is just a little lighter than the galaxy boots. Now I'm off to find a long hallway to play in and creep out the town. Come and play with us, Vincent. Forever and ever and ever. Uh, Miss Penny is such a sweet soul. It would be a shame if someone dressed up like her and started causing havoc. <laughs> well, let's try our best. For the shirt, I went with this belted one. That's a starter shirt. It can also be made with pumpkin soup. We're gonna use the same short skirt as with Jazz, but we'll change the color up a little bit. I couldn't quite find a way to wear knee-high socks, which is unfortunate. There are a ton of outfits I'd love to make with that as an accessory. Her shoes look like a pale pink color. The purples from the Galaxy Boots and the Genie shoes were too intense, so I went with Punger Boots to match as closely as I could. It's not perfect, but it looks good enough to fool the kids into believing that I'm their teacher. Come on kids, let me teach you a lesson on how to water plants. <laughs> yes, now I have free farm hands. Our favorite, albeit only blacksmith Clint, is going to be a super simple one. Not because he is simple, but rather because we can actually make a blacksmith apron now. Just pop in some fiddlehead risotto. Pair it with some dyed farmhand jeans and matching boots, or none at all. Now to grow a little goatee. 
actually, I decided to pop on the work boots. They fit better. And it's like looking in a mirror at a carnival where the mirror makes it look like you're much skinnier. I'm coming for your job and coming for your girl too, Clint. Just you watch me. Uh, Emily is a fun one, a nice free spirit. I dressed up her uh, sort of close by wearing a classy top made from Hellbite and a dyed simple dress, which is made from honey. As for the shoes, that one's a bit tricky. There are two blue shoes, with one of those being from Emily's 14 Heart event, and the other option is the thermal boots. Both are a little too light, but sort of close. Now to see if Gus will trust me serving drinks like this. I'm just gonna take Shane's order all the way to the back. <laughs> Free drinks for Wickedy. For Haley, her outfit looks pretty simple and I can get close, but that skirt flare, hmm, I couldn't quite replicate it. We're gonna go with a tank top, which can be made from a radish or red cabbage. Or a strap top from coral, nautilus, or sea urchin. Pair that with a skirt and dye them to match. The thermal boots look like the best blue match to me. Note, Haley won't stop following you around though. She probably thinks I'm her in a mirror. Good old Dr. Harvey. I really wanted to get a good outfit so that I could play doctor with Maru and the other villagers, but his outfit coloring is so bad that they stopped making it anymore. Anyways, the closest I could get was with the either Esprite for a gray suit or Ancient Seed for a brown suit. Rubber boots or leprechaun shoes and the stash and glasses. Hello, nurse. The doctor will see you now. Maru's outfit is so easy. You just need a regular sized egg paired with some farmer pants and dye it to match. Don't bother with extra boots. The regular shoes you have just work just fine. I'm not really sure what things I could get away with as Maru. I wonder if Demetrius keeps any valuables in his labs that we could uh, borrow. Speaking of Demetrius, boy is he basic. Looks like he bought out all 50 of the same shirts at Joja Mart because he has no time to worry about fashion. I couldn't quite get the right shirt style, but the color was pretty spot on when you use a large goat milk. Dye farmer pants and paired with your regular shoes. Yep, I live here now. Sup, girl? Oh wait, no, this is not what I signed up for. Sebastian, our favorite dark emo basement boy, is just a bit tricky. He's wearing what looks like to be a hoodie, and I can make three different hoodies, but not in black. You can use the geode for gray, a frozen geode for blue, or the magma geode for red, but no black. I ended up settling on some flannel made from a coffee bean. I dyed that and the farmer jeans as dark as uh, Sebastian thinks his soul is, blasted some My Chemical Romance and paired it with some dark boots. Now let's ruin Sebastian's reputation by spending some quality time with Demetrius and calling him dad. Abigail is another unique outfit that's pretty easy to make. You can craft the top she wears by whipping out our big bone flute. <laughs> Crafting with this gives you the blue long vest. Just color some pants and maybe wear the dark boots or no shoes at all. And I paired it with the watermelon band unlocked after you catch 100 fish. And you thought you were being original. I couldn't quite peg down the easy casual style of our resident skater boy, but the closest I could do was by using a plum pudding and dyeing the jacket the right color. We are using the leprechaun shoes for this guy too, as they help him with his ollies. See you later, boy! 
What? Kent came home from the war early? Well, not quite, but Jody sure seems fooled. A deck egg is in the right direction, but I'm going to be using the same top that we used for Sam and dye it the right color of green. No, Vincent, I'm not actually your dad. Ah, uh, if only we could marry Jody. Uh, okay, enough therapy inducing cosplay for that family. Let's go harass Alex. He looks like he's wearing his old high school sports jacket, so let's one up him. I'm going to use an energy tonic and dye it green er, with uh, dyed jeans and combat boots. You see me? This is what you would look like if you were a winner. I can't really imagine why you would want to dress up like Evelyn apart from not being blamed for stealing Granny's cookies. But I used a large egg for the top and a simple dress on the bottom and dyed them to match. Eh, close enough. For Caroline, a spring crop is what we'll need to make the basic shirt and belt, and a simple dress will do. Just dye to match and no one will question while you're rifling through Pierre's things looking for his secret stash. <laughs> oh man, I can see us getting into too much trouble dressed up as Pierre himself. You can choose his shirt from the start, though with a slightly different color tee. Hopefully no one is looking that close at you. You can also craft it with one of his favorite dishes, the fried calamari. Now just dye some super bland khakis and you're now a store owner. Congratulations. Wait, can I buy my own wares from myself for a killer price? Ooh. Linus is kind of hard to replicate, but I did my absolute best trying to look like a wild, dirty mountain man. The grass skirt is made from hay and I used a maple bar to make a dirt top. Now I should be free to rummage through all of the trash cans and no one will know the difference. Cam is a special case. She has two outfits you can try. Her first one is by making a tank top with a radish and relaxed fit pants with a spring or fall tree fruit. Dye to the correct colors. Yeah, that's pretty close. Or if you want to try on her formal wear, find a trash can hat and craft a proper dress with a piece of trash. No one can tell the difference. Pam took us on a trip to the Oasis where we can dress up just like Sandy too. She has her own unique clothing piece that you can make by crafting with some tomka, pair it with a simple dress or long dress and dye it to match, and some blue shoes. Soon, I'll be running this place. Just you watch. Back in the valley, we can brew up something magical and dress up just like the wizard. His arcane shirt can be made from a void spirit, and you can get his hat from the monster eradication goals by slaying 100 mummies. Let's go pay his ex-wife a visit. I'm sure that'll go over well. Or maybe you just want the simple life of a sailor and want to inherit Willy's shop. The shirt of the sea can be crafted with a dish of the sea. I also use regular farmer pants and dyed it to match. Sadly, the hat isn't included, so I paired it with the good old cap instead. Ah, Lewis, another villager with two very unique looks. I wish I could get that exact shirt he's wearing with that tie, but if you use the vegetable medley, there is a shirt called the Mayoral Suspenders that looks pretty similar. No hat again, so I used the good old cap again. You could use farmer pants for these, but I used the nice gold trimmed purple shorts. Perfect match. And then there's his more striking outfit. It's actually a lot easier to make. We want to use a gold bar or a dried starfish, as well as a golden mask to craft this iconic look. 
Looking expensive, that's for sure. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make and a lot of work trying to figure out how to dress up exactly like all of the villagers. I did miss a few because there are just some outfits that are a little too hard to replicate, like Fancy Man Elliot's or even Leah's. What kind of outfits have you been creating and what's your favorite so far? I want to say thank you again to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys have been so supportive and helpful. Thanks again for sticking along with me. And thanks for watching this video to all of you and all of my subscribers too. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you have not already. I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.